Hey everyone, welcome back to the BFT channel. Today we're going to be looking at an Evo 1300 by Magic Shine. This is actually an unboxing because uh, I haven't actually looked at it yet, but let's see here. All right, so we got the light and you'll notice this is an underbar mount light design, okay? Uh, Magic Shine makes all types of lights, so if you are interested in their lights, go check out their website and they'll have uh, a wide variety of lights and I'm pretty sure one of them will suit your needs. Alright, so this is a under mount and it comes with the bracket here. So you would mount this to the bar here and this will simply go on like this. This will get mounted underneath your bike like this and on top you have the Garmin compatible mount as well. This light has a low beam, high beam and it is USB-C, IPX6 water resistance and the beam distance on this one is 150 meters. The beam intensity is 5600 CD. Okay, Magic Sign, they also include the Allen keys so you can put it onto your bike and it has different adapters to use depending on your bicycle, as well as an alternate uh, mount. Like other Magic Shines, this is button compatible, so you can use their app to make adjustments to your light. All right. What's unique to these Evo lights is the light pattern. You can see it's very bright on top here, and it's, it diffuses down here you're kind of looking at it like this. So if you're a car and you're coming at this light, you're not blinded by this light as much because the bottom of it is diffused. This light has a very unique pattern that spreads the light to the left and right, and it's highly visible to oncoming traffic as well. So if you're crossing an intersection, the other cars should be able to see you. I have been using their other light and it has the same beating pattern and it's probably the best beam pattern you can buy uh, if you're sticking to the roads. You have one, two, three, four settings and this is the adjustment area. Okay, and that's for light mode one and then light mode two. So let's start with one and then we'll go to two, three, four. But in each mode, I'm gonna show you what 1% is and 100% is. This is for max, okay. Next, we'll go back to zero. This is SOS mode. Yeah, 1%. And this is SOS at 100% mode. Okay, and this is lightning mode. I don't know what lightning means, but this is lightning. At one percent. Prasta, no. Yeah. And this is all I need more at a hundred percent. That the blinds are everybody. This is way too bright. Okay. And the last mode, my favorite, is some kind of super flashy, short burst. This is what I like to keep on uh, during the day. This is what my favorite one, 100% and this light pattern. This is very visible to all cars. Okay. And my personal favorite for light setting number two is usually at nighttime. I'll keep it maybe, this is about, uh, let's see. What? This is 40%. Uh, full on at 40%. This is kind of where I like it. Either Sometimes I'll even put it to uh, 30%, which is a lot lower like this. Because this light is very bright. So I don't recommend keeping, keeping it on the highest setting unless you really need it. The output and runtime. On the low beam, low setting, it can run 15 hours. 
on high beam, it can run two hours. So that's actually a nice long ride. And if you're in flash mode, it can run nine hours during the day or night flash it's called, it can run four hours. If you're looking at the light from a side view, it does have a side visible diffuser. People to the left and right of you can see you as well. What I really like about this light is the way it looks. If you look at the front of the light, most lights have a front flat piece here, but these lights are rounded and it gives it a very pleasing look to it. So I do recommend these lights if you um, are into this type of design. Uh, Magic Shine has many lights, so if you're interested in the Evo 1300, also check out their other lights and please use our affiliate link below and help out this channel. This particular light, the Evo 1300 by Magic Shine, it will be going on to my new bike. I have a new bike that is being made right now and hopefully by the end of March, beginning of April, it will be done and this will be on it. So if you want to know more about that, you can uh, like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned to this channel, and we'll see you guys next time. All right. I'm 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 I'm